who is the most gracious and most merciful and kind to all. I hope uh, you all be fine by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Today we are gonna discuss one more important topic of ecological science that is types of ecosystem. Before discuss the types of ecosystem, I would like to share important information with you people that ecology is most important for the scoring points in examination. So I hope you will listen it carefully and pay your attention to gross of the lecture because it's very important and I will make it very soft and very easy for my dear students. So without taking too much time, let us start our topic that is types of ecosystem सबसे पहले हम देखेंगे कि कौन सा साइंटिस्ट था जिसने इकोसिस्टम का कांसेप्ट जनरेट किया था और who was the first scientist or first ecologist who gave the concept of ecology yes it was the great scientist A G Tansley in 1935 who gave the concept of ecosystem and for your information I would like to say that it is most important object to and often asked in the hair examinations and examinations as well. So here I will underline the point is the main line of the evidence in 1935. Yet the talking ecological concept is a yet ha for many score and I share up is at here it's the most important object to and it's a prominent object to of ecological science of check because it is often asked in examination and even hair, in hair examinations it is asked repeatedly in the examination point of view so that's why I underline the point is most important for you you people so last time we have said that in ecosystem or in our environment we found that no organism can live alone they have to share the contents, important contents of life like food, like water, like space, like nutrients, so on and so forth in order to survive successfully in a particular type of environment. So, these ecosystems have many components of there. Yes, in every ecosystem there are two components of there. One is biotic component and another is abiotic component. This is called biotic factor. We call it abiotic factor. We call it Biotic factors are the living components of environment, say for example, plants, animals, bacteria, fungi, algae, protozoans, you see there are both organisms eh, which are the part of biotic components. And second is abiotic factor. Abiotic factors mean the non-living factors. Non-living factors mean the either water, soil, temperature, wind, velocity, weather, nutrients and so many things. So these are two factors that when you interact with each other in a particular area, they constitute an ecosystem. I had to understand that this concept was given to us and it's a detailed study that we will discuss in the second part in the second part. This was a little bit about the introduction of ecosystem. कि इसका कॉन्सेप्ट किसे दिया, इसके कंपोनेंट्स कितने होते हैं, और जब वो कंपोनेंट्स रिएक्ट करते हैं आपस में, नेगोशिएट करते हैं, तभी एक फंक्शनल यूनिट क्रिएट होता है, उस फंक्शनल यूनिट को हम इकोसिस्टम कहते हैं। एंड इकोसिस्टम में भी एस स्मॉल एस ड्रॉप ऑफ वाटर एंड इट में भी एस ब write down the point it may be as small as a drop of water or as big as a mighty ocean now let us you know start the main theme of our topic that is the types of ecosystem there are the two main types of ecosystem one is natural ecosystem and another is artificial ecosystem the two main types of ecosystem what is the now natural ecosystem in Natural ecosystem, no direct of, no direct role of man is there for its formation or for its function. Natural ecosystem, वो ecosystem होता है जिसकी function करने के लिए man का direct role नहीं होता है. 
for artificial ecosystem or ecosystem है जिस की functioning के लिए जिसकी smooth functioning के लिए man का direct role होता है man का influence होता है so they are the two kinds of ecosystem and आगे हम देखेंगे कि जो एक natural ecosystem है इसको further class पर किया गया है into terrestrial ecosystem and aquatic ecosystem respectively अब जो एक terrestrial ecosystem है terrestrial ecosystem कहाँ होता है इस present in land present in land well terrestrial ecosystem is present in land इसमें आएगा forest ecosystem, इसमें आएगा grassland ecosystem, forest ecosystem, grassland ecosystem and desert ecosystem respectively. इसके तीन land types हैं terrestrial के, forest ecosystem, grassland ecosystem and desert ecosystem. अब हम देखेंगे इसका जो और एक type है natural ecosystem का, वो है aquatic aquatic ecosystem, aquatic ecosystem. अब aquatic जो है Present in water, water, water ecosystem. वो ecosystem जो water में present हो उसे aquatic कहते हैं। अब aquatic के जो main दो types हैं, fresh water ecosystem और marine water ecosystem. Fresh water ecosystem और marine water ecosystem, aquatic के दो classes हैं, इसको further class में किया गया है। अब fresh water जो है, इसकी भी और दो types हैं, fresh water के। एक है लैटिक इकोसिस्टम, दूसरा है लॉटिक इकोसिस्टम। लैटिक इकोसिस्टम और लॉटिक इकोसिस्टम में मेन डिफरेंस ये है कि लैटिक इकोसिस्टम में जो वाटर होता है वो स्टेगनेंट होता है, एक जगह रुका होता है, इसमें कोई डायनेमिज्म नहीं होता है। और जो ये वाटर लॉटिक इकोसिस्टम होता है, लॉटिक इकोसिस्टम So, hope for the best and good luck for all my students and uh, thanks so much for your cooperation and support.